Hello, myself, Professor Harish Bhangade from Department of Electrical Engineering. So today we will discuss on the basic electrical engineering. So today's lecture will take the topic on capacitor types and their leveling. So there are numerous types of the capacitors are there like mica capacitor, ceramic disc capacitor, plastic film capacitor, electrolytic type of capacitor, variable types of capacitors, paper capacitors, ceramic types of capacitor, polycarbonate type of capacitor. So, so such a types of capacitors are there. So very first we'll discuss about the mica capacitors. So the mica capacitors are small with high working voltage. The working voltage is the voltage limit that cannot be exceeded. So beyond the working voltage limit, we can't give the voltage supply to the capacitor. Otherwise it will burn out. So that care we always should be taken. So the mica capacitors have a very high range of working voltage. So this construction, if you look into the construction of the mica capacitor, so it consists of the alternating, it consists of the alternating layers of mica and metal foil clamped together tightly. The use of mica makes it very costly. If mica is costly, that's why the cost of the mica capacitor is very high. The loss in the capacitors are very less. It is mainly used in high frequency applications, so which requires greater accuracy and high voltages and less dielectric loss. So there are, these are used as bypass and blocking capacitors in electronic circuits. In filter circuits also they are used for precise tuning of the circuits as a coupling capacitors. So this is about this mica capacitor. Next type of capacitor is a ceramic capacitor. So ceramic disc capacitors are with small and non-polarized type of capacitors. They have relatively high capacitance due to their high relative permittivity. So these ceramic capacitors has a metallic coatings on the opposite faces of the thin pin. It has a ceramic coating on the opposite faces of a thin base of ceramic materials like barium titanate, hydrosilicate of magnesia, etc. So these ceramic capacitors are used in high frequency radio and electronic circuits, filter circuits, etc. Then next type of capacitor is your plastic film capacitor. The plastic film capacitors are small and non-polarized. They have relatively high capacitors due to large plate area. So the plate area of the plastic film capacitor is very high. Now we know the formula for the capacitance of a capacitor that is capacitor is C is equal to epsilon A upon D. So A means your area of the capacitor plate, right? So your capacitance is directly proportional to area A. That's why as the plates are larger, so larger is the area and hence the capacitance of the plastic film capacitor is high. The next type of capacitor is the electrolytic type of capacitor. They falls into two categories, aluminum electrolytic capacity, capacitor and tantalum electrolytic capacitor. So these electrolytic capacitors have very high capacitance, but they are not as precise as other types and tend to have more leakage currents. So electric type of capacitors are polarized types. So these are the electrolytic, aluminum electrolytic capacitor and titanium, titanium electrolytic capacitor. They are shown in the figure and this is the symbol for the electrolytic capacitor. So these are most commonly used and consist of two aluminum foils, one with an oxide film and one without. So the foils are interlude with a material such as a paper saturated with a suitable electrolytic material. Next type of capacitor is a variable type of capacitor. Variable means its value can be varied manually. So the variable capacitor typically have a small capacitance values and are usually adjusted manually. So solid state device that is used as a variable capacitor is the varactor diode. 
so it is adjusted with an electrical signal so these are the photographs of a variable type of capacitors so your trim is there so by varying this trim position you can change the value of this capacitor and its symbol is here it is shown in the figure so the, this is first is the fixed type of capacitor and this trigger b indicate the with a arrow head indicate the variable type of capacitor the next is the labeling of a capacitor now they are labeling that is the values of the capacitor how to identify the value how to determine the value of a uh, particular capacitor so that are being stamped so the numbers are always stamped on the capacitor so by observing that numbers how to find out their exact values uh, from the labeling that now we will see so the capacitors use several labeling methods small capacitors values are frequently stamped on them such as uh, 0.001 or 0.01 so which have units of microfarads when uh, such a stamping on a capacitor you will find that is 0.001 or 0.01 so always this is the value of that capacitor but the unit of this capacitor is in microfarad so always put the unit as a microfarad okay then next is the electrolytic capacitors have larger values and so are read as in microfarad the unit is usually stamped as microfarad but some older ones may be shown as mf or mmf like this now the label such as 103 or 104 also sometimes will found on the stamp on the capacitor so what it exactly means so it is always in picofarad with a multiply factor so whatever the third digit here you are observing 103 so 3 that is 10 to the power 3 is a multiplier so 10 its value is 10 into 10 to the power minus 3 and it is in picofarad it is 10000 picofarad similarly 104 means it is 10 into 10 to the power 4 picofarad means it is one lakh picofarad respectively so in this way 103 and 104 is what we can be hand out in a picofarad by multi with a multiplier factor third digit we consider always the number as a multiplier factors then main values are marked as c30 or 6800 like this the unit is always considered as a picofarad so here is the example 222 and uh, 2200 they are stamped on these capacitors so what is the value of each capacitor the value of each capacitor here is in a picofarad so it is value of this is 222 picofarad and value of this capacitor is 2200 picofarad so this is all about the labeling and the types of the capacitor so in next lecture we will discuss about the connections of the capacitor series and parallel connection. Until then, thank you. Thank you very much.